The Missouri Department of Wildlife has designated nine streams as blue ribbon trout areas. These streams contain naturally reproducing or wild trout which gives these streams their designation as blue ribbon streams. MDC along with Trout Unlimited have created the Blue Ribbon Trout Slam which acknowledges anglers who are able to catch a trout out of each one of these streams. After hearing about this challenge and doing some research on these different streams, I became intrigued with the opportunity of testing my skills and exploring some new water. So after months of research and mapping out a plan, I decided to go on a three-day road trip and target the smaller creeks within the slam. My plan was to try and complete four creeks and a fifth creek if possible. I had high hopes but really didn't know what to expect as I had never fished for wild trout on these small creeks in Missouri. I left out early Thursday morning excited to get out on my first stream. As I headed northeast toward the heart of Missouri, I stopped in Lebanon, Missouri to visit Redding's Fly Shop. Stopped here at Redding's Fly Shop in Lebanon, Missouri. Stopped and talked to Charlie. Um, he was gracious enough to, to share some great information with me, kind of get me set up, kind of uh, get me going. And uh, But just an awesome fly shop. This man knows fly fishing. Um, just, a, just a wealth wealth of knowledge. So uh, a cool fly shop. Got everything that you could possibly need in there. Uh, but we're going to go chase some wild trout up in some creeks here in Missouri. So it should be fun. After finally arriving at my first Missouri Creek, I quickly headed down to the creek, excited to try my hand at catching some of these wild trout in this beautiful creek. After working my way up the creek over the next couple of hours and not laying my eye on a fish, my excitement started to turn to doubt. I started to wonder if I had made a mistake and was overconfident in my thinking about fishing these streams. Well, that was tough. Not a fish. I'm gonna go on down river and see see what that looks like, but uh, man, pretty tough, but I'm gonna try to figure it out i'm gonna go down down this creek and where it flows into the bigger river and see see what that looks like but um this is uh it's gonna be a challenge my doubt eventually turned to discouragement as i fished another couple of hours with the same result not even a glimmer of a fish my plan to catch a wild trout out of four of these creeks in three days now seemed unattainable and now I was wondering if I was going to spend all three days on this one creek. With only two days left and no fish, I have to admit that I left the creek wondering if this trip to Missouri was a mistake. But over the years I've learned that if you just stick with it, enjoy the process, and keep trying, you just never know what the outcome might lead to. All right, it is February 24th, Friday, and um, I got up here to Missouri, Central Missouri, and I fished this creek, and uh, yesterday, I fished for about a good four hours and uh, didn't pull a fish. I'm not gonna give up on it, I'm gonna keep trying, and uh, it only takes one, so if I can pull one fish out of this stream, I will be very, very happy, and uh, we're gonna see what happens, but Regardless, it's just a just a beautiful winter day here in Missouri, but we're gonna go give it a shot and see what I can do. Guys, man, I've been fishing for like two hours. I was beginning to wander on this deal, but I finally, I didn't get it on camera, but 
man i finally was able to get one my first wild rainbow in missouri i was i was starting to give up hope and uh man oh i'm super stoked i've never been so happy to catch such a small fish <laughs> beautiful fish beautiful fish There he goes. Man, yes. <laughs> I've worked hard on the stream. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm glad I came back. I'm, just when you think, man, I just don't know if I can catch one of these dudes or they're not here or whatever. If you just stick, just takes one, just takes one. So super happy about that. And uh, I can check this creek off my list. That, <laughs> I, I'm uh I'm super excited to catch that little fish. Oh man, that was great. Well, I'm gonna fish for a little bit more, see if I can pull one more, and uh, then bounce out of here and go to the next creek, so. Gotta be a fish down. Got it. Don't get off. Wild rainbow. That's two. Awesome. Let this little guy go. Went further upstream and just hitting it off the drop-offs, just throwing it up kind of in the shallow and when there's a big drop-off, just letting that fly drop off in that, in a pool. And uh, so much fun. But that's two, two wild rainbows within the last 30 minutes. It took me six hours, seven hours to figure it out, but I by all means don't have it figured out. But at least, I, you know, with every fish you catch, you learn something. Um, trial and error. That's why I love fly fishing because it's just you're always learning, always trying new things, and uh, such a beautiful, beautiful wild rainbow trout here in Missouri. But uh, I'm gonna go on to the next stream and uh, check it out. This is one I've been wanting to go to. Go check it out. creek number two um, out of all the creeks that I planned on visiting over the next few days uh, this is the one that I was most excited about um, but uh, have a little bit more confidence after catching a couple fish on that first stream um, so excited to get down here and see see what we can do on this stream but um, <laughs> I've got my six weight I snapped my five weight rod that I've been using I did something that uh, I knew I should have done with it and uh, yeah it, it it snapped so um but anyways we're gonna have i got a nine and a half foot six weight so maybe it'll work out better with with nymphing we'll see um i know in the last creek everything was just so close close quarters you know it would have been nice to have like a three or four weight rod with um like a seven and a half foot rod but on the other hand it's nice to have a, a long rod so you can you can nymp or do more of a, a euro nymphing type type style of fishing but either way um but yeah we're gonna Walk down here, it's about a half a mile um, down here. Um, so I'm gonna walk down here and we'll see what we can get into. Yeah, this is a little bigger, a little bigger creek. Little bigger creek, so.
fish on. Nice. Right on. Yes. Yes, yes. Wild rainbow trout. Beautiful wild rainbow. I'll get him back in the water. Fish on. Another beautiful wild rainbow. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Don't get hung up on that branch. Oh. Nice. Another beautiful rainbow. Look at that. That was a feisty booger right there. I'll get him back in the water. <laughs> Check that one off the list. That was the that was the biggest creek I think out of all the ones that I'll be fishing over the next few days. So, um, but um, I've got two creeks. I'm not sure which one I want to head to first. So I'm gonna look on my Onyx maps and then uh, I have a couple hours left here to go explore that one and maybe I can pull a fish fish out of that one this evening. But but anyways, I'm gonna go check it out. stream number three for today i've got about an hour or two of daylight left here so i'm going to see if i can pull a fish here and uh that'd be pretty cool to catch catch uh, wild trout at uh, three different streams in one day but um yeah beautiful stream so i'm gonna give it a shot and see what we can do
Yes! Yes! Yes, yes! Three streams, one day. Yes! Get you in the water, buddy. I was just draping it off that bridge. Nice. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Three streams, three wild trout. Yes. Yes, yes. So much fun. So I've caught a wild trout on three streams in one day. That's pretty cool. I was, uh, yesterday I was, I was a little frustrated, but uh, it's amazing how one day can change. And once you just kind of spend some time on the river and get a feel for it, how you can, what a good day. This is so much fun. But I'm gonna fish for a little bit longer here and see, uh, see what else I can, see what else I can catch here. Well, just got off the water, what a day. Um, first day I was getting kind of discouraged and uh, second day, three uh, three streams, caught a wild trout on all of them. So um, pretty excited about that. That gives me all day to, to hit the, uh, the fourth creek on my list. So, um, but anyways, I'm gonna head back and uh, we're gonna get after it again in the morning.